On behalf of your MBA Board of Directors, I want to welcome you to the annual awards banquet. And I pause there because for the past 10 years, those words I just spoke had been spoken by Mark Gordon, our president and CEO for these past 10 years, who is retiring at the end of this month. Uh, some of you were at a retirement reception for Mark on Thursday night, and it was so great to see you there as we honor Mark. We want to honor Mark a little bit more tonight, starting with this video. Congratulations, Mark, on your retirement. I'm so excited for you. Uh, I feel like the luckiest person in the world to have come here and been able to work with you. When not long after I started here, I had a tra kind of tragedy in my personal life. And Mark was just so quick to be like, you need to take the week, you take the week, do whatever you got to do. Um, and then as soon as I came back into the office, he came in my office, sat down with me and was like, hey, how you doing? And that that was it far exceeded a, a business relationship it was friend to friend and i felt like he truly cared and um, mark a million thank yous um i went home and, and cried that day that was incredible um so thank you and best of luck in retirement hello to everyone in missouri it's a pleasure to be with you tonight i um used to be in the Air Force Reserve, and I learned to salute at that time, and I just want to salute Mark Gordon for all of the wonderful things that he's done for the Missouri Broadcasters Association. He's been a wonderful friend, a great supporter, and uh, I just want to salute Mark tonight and thank him for all he's done for the Missouri Broadcasters Association. Thank you for being a friend, Mark. And I just want to let you know that um, – I just learned from the National Institute of Health that uh, sexy men are susceptible to allergies. Excuse me. Congratulations to my great friend, Mark Gordon, uh, on your retirement. Uh, I want to thank you for 20 plus years of a great friendship. And certainly if you're in Joplin, Please stop by the station. I'm buying lunch. Hi, Mark. On behalf of the Zimmer Communications team, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for your leadership and your commitment to fulfilling the MBA mission of promoting the success and prosperity of the local broadcasting industry through our three pillars of advocation, education, and recognition. Mark, you set high standards for all Missouri broadcasters to emulate your passion to serve, your high integrity, and your dedication to the mission will always be appreciated. May your retirement be filled with joy and new adventures for you and Lucy. Again, we thank you for your exceptional service. All the best to you. I consider myself lucky and blessed to have worked for Bart Gordon not once, but twice in my career. In fact, when I began my job at the NBA 10 years ago, I had no idea what I'd be doing. But I did know I'd be working for someone who's fair, kind, smart, and generous. So thank you, Mark, for being a great boss and a great friend for the past 25 plus years. Okay, what do you say about a guy that is uh, so warm, so magnetic, uh, charming, caring, looks at you in the eye, and you know you're talking to a good soul? That's Mark Gordon. Uh, just a wonderful human being. We were so lucky that we had the opportunity to bring him in as president of the Missouri Broadcasters Association and what legacy he is going to leave. We have the best, we are in the best financial shape, I would say, of any broadcast organization, state organization in the United States. Solid uh, through the recessions, and I know, Mark, in the background, you and your team, uh, Rachel and Terry, we're uh, working uh, your butts off to keep us solid. And I've talked to other uh, heads of state organizations and they all look up to you. Um, you're warm, personable, as I said before. Um, walking and texting at the same time is probably something I wouldn't recommend in the future. But, um, and most of you or some of you in this room will get that, especially if Mark gets up to speak. Um, Look at the people, you know, our parents used to say, birds of a feather flock together. Look at the people that support Mark. Look at the people on the board. 
all solid citizens, all hard workers, all super committed. A wonderful group of people. Mark, you are going to be missed, and you are leaving one heck of a legacy to Missouri Broadcasters Association. Happy retirement, Mark. Hey, Mark, I've been thinking about it. We have known each other for quite some time, but we got to know each other a little bit more over the past several years working on the convention together. But these last few months, they have really been something special, Mark, working alongside you, getting to know you better. We've been travel partners. Uh, we've had a lot of dinners together, and we're getting to know each other's families even better. Certainly consider you a true friend, Mark. Uh, congratulations, and have a great retirement from all of us here at the MBA. So tonight, the Missouri Broadcasters Association is proud to present the Lifetime Member Award to Mark Gordon. Mark, please come on up. Chad. When I was uh, 12 years old, I got to sit in the control room of a television station in KINY TV in Juneau, Alaska, and watch a live newscast, and I was hooked. I've been very blessed to work in an industry I truly love for the past 46 years. When I accepted my first job at a TV station in Great Bend, Kansas in 1977, I didn't even know what job I was accepting. I, was, I just knew I was going to get to be in broadcasting. I started out as a copywriter and announcer, and that copywriting skill that I learned at that time is a skill that I've used every year of my career since. I later became the station's one-man news department, where I shot and developed my stories, not on videotape, but on film. I met my sweet wife during my tenure at that first station. In fact, soon after we met, I did election night coverage. She doesn't like this story, by the way. I asked her if she watched. She said she started to, but had to turn it off because she got nervous watching me. Evidence that on air was not going to be in my future. You don't get to have a career like mine without a lot of people believing in you. I've been fortunate to have a great number of broadcasters help me along the way. I'm not gonna mention all of them tonight, but I, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to miss revenue budgets. I, in fact, I couldn't even tell you how many I hit and how many I missed. What I'm going to miss is hanging out with fellow broadcasters. Leading your Missouri Broadcasters Association the past 10 years has been the highlight of my career. I want to thank my wife, Lucy, who has been with me for 44 years. My daughter, Jamie, a middle school teacher who developed a media class that I actually got to speak at a number of times. And my son, Michael, who works in the industry as a corporate trainer for Gray. He is one broadcaster I will get to continually hang out with. I want to thank my late dad who said, how can you judge a place if you've never been there? He was referring to a, a job opportunity that I had in Mississippi. And I didn't, wasn't sure I really wanted to go to Mississippi, but ultimately by going there, it led to Missouri. And if I hadn't listened to my father, I'm not sure I'd be here tonight. I want to thank my late mom who instilled in me her sweet, special spirit of caring for others. Thanks to the NAB, including Senator Gordon Smith, Curtis Leggett, and my friend Sue Keenum, and to all my fellow State Broadcast Association leaders. Thanks to the NBA Board of Directors, past and present, and to all of the great Missouri broadcasters across this state. Six months into my tenure at the NBA, Terry Harper came to work with me. I cannot imagine the past 10 years without her. She made me and this association better. And finally, Chad Mahoney. Oh my, is this association in good hands with him? In his short time of being in place, he has already made some great changes that will have a positive impact on this association. Thanks to Rachel in our office, who is a joy to work around. Thanks to all of you very much for the honor and privilege of being able to serve you. Thank you very much.